Hey guys, today we'll be learning how to estimate quotients. Now, if you have watched our previous videos, we talked about estimating sums, differences, and products. This is pretty much the same thing, except for you, you're using division because the quotient is an answer to a division problem. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have 23 divided by 6. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, create two ranges of data or numbers that will represent the numbers that come in between 23 and 6. So first, let's take a look at 23. Now, keep in mind that we're going to be um, rounding to the nearest tenths place here. So, tenths. So, if you look at 23, we know that two um, tenths, nearest tenths would be 20 and 30. Now, we know that 25 would come in the middle, right? And 23, let's say, would go about over here. So as you can see, that 23 is closest to 20. Therefore, the closest tenths place to 23 would equal 20. So now let's do the same thing for 6. If we create another set of um, numbers or data, and we're going to put 1 here and 10 here, and then in the middle would go 5. Now we know that 6 is greater than 5, right? So that will go about over here. So as you can see, that 6 is closest to 10 than 1. Therefore, 6 would be rounded off to 10. Now all we're going to do is we're going to do a simple division. So now we have 20 divided by 10. In our previous video, we talked about such situations that when you have zeros, you can always cut them off. So if we're going to remove one zero from here, we're going to remove one zero from here. Now we're left with 2 divided by 1. And any number divided by 1 equals that number. Therefore, 2 divided by 1 equals 2. So our quotient, our estimated quotient, for 23 divided by 6 equals 2. Now let's take a look at an example that involves hundreds. So let's say we have a big number such as 465 divided by, or we could write this here as in fraction form, 465 divided by 75. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create two sets of data. So here, um, in this case, we're rounding to hundreds. So the two nearest hundreds to 465 would be 400 and 500. Now we're going to take a look at 465. So we know that in the middle would be 450, right? 465 is greater than 450, therefore it's going to be somewhere in this range. So 465 would more likely go over here. That means that 465 is going to round it off to 500. And now if you take a look at 75, let's create another one here. So here we're going to have 1, and here we're going to have 100. In the middle would be 50. 75 is greater than 50 once again, so we're going to put 75 about right over here. That means that 75 is closer to 100, so therefore now our new estimated problem would be 500 over 100. Now, again, um, in our previous video we also talked about hundreds and that we can use our same formula. We can cancel out the zeros, so if we have 500 over 100 here. We'll remove one zero from here, and we're going to remove one from here, and the zero will go fit with the zero. So now we're left with 5 divided by 1, and we know that any number divided by 1 would equal the same number. That means our quotient would equal 5. Now, that was really easy, and I hope you guys understood this. And if you want to learn more about estimating quotients, you can visit our website, and you'll find more step-by-step -step instructions, and we'll see you guys next time.